Hey you guys, it is 3.40 a.m. And I just got to the hotel here in New Orleans. It's the Alder Hotel um, uptown that we stayed at when we were here last time, I guess a couple weeks ago, <laughs> week and a half ago. And it's pretty full because this parking lot is full. But we're going to go up there and go straight to bed because we have to be at the tattoo parlor at 1, 8, 1 p.m. tomorrow. His computer's down for like 10 minutes. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and he says, you don't have a reservation. Yeah, I do. He had his paper, but I have the reservation number. So as soon as he's ready, I'm going to get my room. So we're just sitting around the lounge, almost four in the morning. Okay, so we were at the wrong hotel. We had originally went to make reservations there, but I forgot that we didn't for some reason. So we made reservations at this Holiday Inn here. So we're going in so we can get at least six hours of sleep. I know, it shows where the elevators are. <laughs> kind of makes me feel comforted a bit. But I hadn't seen that before, have you? The elevator notice thing on the wall. So tired. What time is it? 4.30 a.m. Which is like 5.30 in the time you're used to. It's almost 6 in the morning. It's probably about daylight. Let's take the car in the slot. Okay. I haven't stayed in a circular hotel before. Even the room is kind of circular. It's nice looking though. Menard, look for bed bugs. Oh my goodness, for free? Complimentary spicy Cajun craw, craw, craw tater. Excuse me, what is that? What is it? Ew, that's stuck under the bed. Where? You see something? Move it. What is it? In the rack. I ain't moving that rack. That's gross. I can't shut the dang curtains. Do they know I have real curtains that shut because we're up high? What? It's a bed bug. No, it's not. It really is. Actually, it is. It is a bed bug. That's a real bed bug. Let me see. Joe Chris, that's a real bed bug. And that's why you checked. Let me see. It's Philly. This is a nightmare. I just want to go to Let sleep. Me see. I'm not lifting it up again. Touch, it, touch it again. It touch it again. There's eggs. He needs to see it. Don't get it on you at all. Get this. Pick up the bag. Oh my God. No, I'm serious. I gotta show it on video so people can know what it looks like. Chris, don't let anything touch you. Where? Pick up the bed a little and scoot it's it over. Here. This. Shine your light on it, please, Trevon. Oh. That is a real bed bug. That's a bed bug. A real one. You got bed bugs. <laughs> Can I believe? I will rather sleep in the car. I just. I can't. There's a real bed bug in there. It's a bed bug. <laughs> That's why I don't say it for hotels. It's rated well on TripAdvisor. But hey, I'm putting my view on there. Yeah, you better. Take a good picture of it, Chris. Oh my god, it's almost five in the morning and I just want to go to sleep. <sighs> this is my biggest fear ever in staying at hotels. Ever. And we've looked and we've never seen one before. And we had seen uh, ticks once in St. Augustine, yeah, which we thought it was a bed bug until we researched it and looked at all the photos. What is this, hotel number three? No, one, two, yep. Hotel number three, home with Sweets Hilton, which I know is gonna be good. We're gonna check anyway. Oh, I am making a video about this, you guys, because we know a lot about it. Not ever. I don't care how nice the hotel is. Yeah. I don't care how much it costs, not check your bed. Ever. Ever, okay? Because it's not. It, most of the times, it's not the hotel's fault. It's, it's really not. not. It's just people bring them in, you know, and they don't really know. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's five something now. It's five something. This is so so nice. We're checking the bed and we're checking the couch bed right now. Ooh, pro tip. I don't know who did that, but don't put your stuff on the on ground. A, yeah, on, on a the table. Bed. Do not push up in the bed ever before you check. Yeah, let's check, please, quick. Oh I'm so disturbed still. I really and truly am. So, yeah, you look down there, you look in the seams. They like to hide in the seams here. And you might and be like, oh, what if you don't see the one little one? There's but just one. And sometimes if there's just one, you actually won't catch it. 
but it's not good to not check. Places like that? Anywhere, they like to hide in little crevices. And then on the headboard, they like to hide behind wood and stuff and even picture sometimes. Okay. Especially by the head because that's when they come up at night. Yeah. It's creepy out there. I just opened the curtains and I was like, <gasps> It's not a bit, it's a, they're building it. Ooh. You look for not even just bed bugs, but spots like brown, rusty, like mm -hmm. blood spots, yeah. and stuff, and poop. Okay, guys, I think this is day 19 of the trip, and it's the 11th of May, <laughs> and we're leaving the hotel, which is wonderful. We got five hours of sleep, which was good because I feel like it was more than five hours. I think because we were tired and all that, we just slept really well. I'm headed to go get my tattoo right now. What do you think is not exactly know where I want it? Like I know She's that been, I, like, I want it. Between, like, three different and I figured out why I can't decide finally where exactly I want it because I haven't seen it. Once I see it, I'm gonna know where it goes. Yep. Tomorrow's the last day of the trip. We're driving to the New Orleans Tattoo Studio, I think it's called, to get my tattoo. We got five hours of sleep last night but it was well rested, good sleep. We were only about six miles from the hotel. Here it is, Museum Tattoo Studio. I think it's, it's called New Orleans Tattoo Museum. I'll tell you guys for sure, because if you're coming here, I'm sure you might like a reference. <laughs> Hi. I can't believe I'm finally here. <laughs> Look you guys, here it is. Oh, look, look how amazing. Is that the cutest? <laughs> so with the tattoo, you guys, you can, um, you know, have them make a custom tattoo, which is what we did. I put it on my Facebook post, but we basically, me and I, I, I like, this is what I wanted, and she put it together, and Minara had drawn up some of my ideas and gave it to her, and then she puts her style, and that's what this is. This is what the tattoo is going to be like. And here's my little, little Totoro dude. I love his I know, which is gonna go there above my ghosty. Yeah. Almost a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my little Totoro. He is literally adorable. I you like how where he's at and everything? I love it. It actually looks like he's ghost. The position he's in. Where we go, Chris? <laughs> Don't hurt me. Yep. Sure but it's okay. Does <laughs> it hurt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. How's that feel? Okay? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll be fine with the pain. Okay. Just sometimes it really hurts with this. <laughs> <laughs> the arms, right here, the inner arms, kind of weird mm -hmm. sometimes. It's not the first time that I've seen it. Oh, my, oh my goodness. He's a little bloody. But. I love how every time Amy gets something done that has eyes that colored in white, can you see look it? Like they're oh. high. Like <laughs> can you see it, guys? Yes. Look at the green oh, leaf. It's so oh pretty in his little feetsies. His little feetsies are so Oh my god, precious. I love you, little Totoro. Look at his little butt. Oh my god. I oh my gosh, gosh I'm so happy. I love it so much. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. Look how pretty that green is too. Wow. I know, yes, the green is very popping. Oh I my gosh. And, uh, Look, she touched up my we'll subscribe. He's back. Later. He was fading, <laughs> but now he's back. And you show him this when yes. it's done. <laughs> he's so oh, cute. God, I actually, I love, I love that he fits in so well. I know. Your whole arm is just like adorable. I know it is. You're so lucky. And then I'm gonna do the other stuff over here. I know. It's gonna be amazing. He's so adorable. I, I love his little feet. Actually, it'll fit over both of them. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm so happy. I only get a tattoo like once a year, so it's a special, special thing. So I'm actually going to have to have you uh, stand up pretty straight okay. and have your arm really relaxed on your Okay, side like, like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a couple center line marks so I can match it up. So cute. Was it easy to switch from drawing to tattooing, or was it kind of the same concept? Um, well, huh? it's... I always wondered that. 
I mean, it's definitely an artist. Like, if you don't know how to draw, then you do not make a good tattoo artist. That 100%. There's a lot of people out there like that. that, You know? It's like, if you can't draw, don't do tattoos. Don't do it. Because you can be stealing people's art. Like, it's just like, you know, just don't do it. I hate that. This is an artist career. He's so cute. He is so cute. I'm so excited. You guys should let me, like, do my little thing for me. Start over here and tell me how you feel. Okay. Fine. What's that? No, it's good. It's fine. Once you get going, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> now you gotta bring all those adrenals back to the other side of your body. Yeah. <laughs> They're going, whoa, what the f*** happened on, on the right side? <laughs> guys. They did a little trick and bait. <laughs> They're attacking the left wall. <laughs> oh Ambush. They got the bigger one on that side too. <laughs> How does that work with your adrenaline or whatever? It seems like it, at first it's really bad, but then it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. So it gives your your body a chance to have like to make those chemicals do their job. You know, it's kind of like. Um, you get in like a big accident, you know, like, uh, like car accidents, right? Like people get in car accidents and they're like getting mangled and they're like got kids in the back and their car's on fire and they're just oh, like yeah. pushing through it and mm-hmm. like getting everything out. And then finally when they're like in the, you know, hospital, they're like, me, this is so yeah. you know? But in the moment, it's just that, that adrenaline rush. Uh-huh. I got to get through this, gonna, mm-hmm. gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. Um, that's your, your fight or flight, you know? Oh yeah, that's so. why you said you're supposed to eat first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because that's exhausting. <laughs> you know, that's how you pass out after. And a lot of them do pass out after all that. You know, they like yeah. flip a car or something. Oh my and then they God. finally get to safety and they just go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Have you had someone pass out from a tattoo? I haven't, no. My friend almost did. I probably have five chins right now. See up my nose? This is your personal camera. You talk to it and you need to. Um. The thing that hurts the worst is laying on the hard bed. <laughs> For real. So what time is it, please? Somebody timestamp? Anyone? 5.55. 5.55. We were here at 2. We didn't start till 3. Um, she had to prepare. You know, they get the new needles out and everything and the inks that they're going to need. And then uh, Trevon told me this morning, and I might have told you guys, but you have to eat before you get a tattoo because your body... It's like that fight or flight reflex when there's that much pain and stuff that your body's like all going to that one area. And if you don't eat or drink, it would be really bad for you. So I started to feel yucky when I got here, but while she was preparing, she said, just get something to eat. So there's a Wendy's just right here. So I just got a burger and she said, get a Coke. So I got a soda and I came back and I feel great. Like at first it hurts so bad at first, like they're ripping your skin and you're just like, oh. And the thought of doing that big one over here was just like, but once it gets going, it's your, what is that stuff called? Adrenaline. Adrenaline? Yeah, your adrenaline and stuff. It doesn't, it's more like an irritation and sometimes a burning. And sometimes it, you're just like, eh, ouch, you know, but it's not excruciating. At least in the regular places I'm getting it done. So she did the one arm and then I took a little break. Because that bed, that bed is the worst thing of all. I can't lay flat and I can't lay on hard stuff. So that bed was killing me. I actually am probably going to have a migraine and not be able to walk for about two weeks or more. Look at the color of that green, Chris. And it stays that color because this is exactly the same as it was a year ago. Um, now, see the pink around it? All that pink? This one was like that last year. It's bruising. So the pink's gonna go away and it's just gonna be the gray shading. And this, you can see part of it here. This is, uh, she just finished the lining. And now we're gonna go in and she's gonna put all the color in. Now color does use a lot more. There's like eight or nine needles in that one little thing they go over it with. Ooh, I saw that. And it's like, yeah, color hurts more. But I don't care because she's gonna let me sit in a chair because I actually can't lay on that bed anymore. I can't, I can't. What does it feel like? On the bed? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if it's because of my weight or what. No, even when I wasn't this big, I couldn't sit on like hard surfaces. I have lumbar problems, my lower back, mm-hmm. really bad. It feels like my back is breaking. My leg was even twitching, okay? And I was trying to hold my arm straight, but it's the most pain. I can't even describe the pain. It was way worse than this. And all I could think about was, oh my God, I can't take this back pain, I can't. So luckily she said sitting in the chair will be the same because I don't think I could go back. Not that I can't go back and finish this, I can't go back and lay in that bed. <laughs> 
even with the pillow under it. Oh my god. Really? I'm not gonna be able to walk. It hurts. Yeah. But I love the tattoos. You know guys, when I get a tattoo, it's a part of me and I love it. Like it's always been there and I love it and it makes me happy. That's why I decided to get this here. I had to wait and see what it looked like and as soon as I saw it, I was in love. Um, so I knew I wanted to see it at all times. And I can't tell you how much I love it and how excited I am. And I just love getting tattoos. It's a nice, I just love it. And we're here in New Orleans and look at me. <laughs> and then, she's amazing. Shelby, here at New Orleans Tattoo Studio. It's not sponsored. <laughs> I found her on Instagram. I'm gonna make a video about my tattoos and I'll tell you guys about that. That'll be on my Unscripted Life channel. But um, it, I just found her because of her work. It drew me and uh, she's amazing. She's like a perfectionist. She makes sure everything's perfect. She makes sure you're comfortable. She knows what she's doing. She said my skin sucks up the ink because she can tell I'm well hydrated and I eat well. <laughs> but if you guys are coming to New Orleans and you want a tattoo, I highly recommend Shelby at this place here. Highly, highly recommend it. And if you come here, say Amy said hi, or Sea Cruiser said hi. <laughs> it's funny because um, she said, because Chris is getting a tattoo, she says if you want it bad enough and you know it, you bet, want it bad enough, you'll do it even though you know it's going to hurt, right? It won't matter. So that's how I was when I got my first tattoo. That's how I was when I jumped in the cliffs and off the cliffs in Jamaica. That's how I was when I flew on the airplane. I knew that I wanted to do it so bad that I would deal with my fears. And for me, in the beginning, I was afraid of the pain and all that. But um, my fears are, I know, it's, Nara tells me I'm stupid all the time, <sighs> stereotype kind of things, because I'm always like, I don't want to look like this kind of person, I don't want to look like this kind of person. and you have things in your mind and you know people judge you and some people don't like tattoos and stuff but when I got my first tattoo when I was 40 is because I really wanted to and just like with my videos when I make them I, I just this is our life and it's not scripted and I just do it and I'm glad that you guys love it and that's the same thing it was with my tattoo it makes me happy and I want to do it more than anything and that's what it's about right just it's special to you and it makes you happy I think you guys should do it if you've been thinking of it don't worry about what you you know think people might think of you or whatever because it's your life and you should be happy. I love the way he's just sitting there waving. <laughs> so cute, and he's sitting on the beach too. Look at that. Wow, it's like when you add the shading and stuff, it just comes to life. <laughs> yeah. She's coming in little beads. Oh. <laughs> and this color is really red right now. But Does it get what? What I think is it's it? It's actually like more tanner. Oh, okay. Yeah, more like a burlap sack. Oh, okay. It's just real red right now. Because of the blood and the and yeah. all that, yeah. Yeah, just the irritation and the blood. Oh yeah, that's all blood. That's why it looks um, red. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't it amazing? He's amazing. Look at that. Oh my god, I love him. Me too. And I like how he comes on the side a little. I know. Look at his bloody face. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's so pink and rosy. Oh he's my cute. God. I love him. He's <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a trooper. We're almost there. The only thing is like it feels a little bruised is all. Probably from rubbing, not and, and a mixture of the tattoo. Sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's putting the gold and the beads and the eyes and the everywhere it needs to be. And then the white and then set. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I have a new part of me. <laughs> I'm done. It's 8.30. Well, it's actually a few minutes later, but I just finished a few minutes earlier. I'm going to show it to you in a minute when she takes the plastic off. She had to let it sit because there's a lot of color work done. But, um, here we go. <laughs> it was amazing. It was fine. I don't know. It's because I had so much done. It didn't even really hurt. And now we're waiting for her to draw Chris's tattoo, which is going to be a rose. And then Travon's gonna get his tattoo, which is a scythe, which you guys saw earlier. So I'm gonna show you that in here. Actually, I'm getting that. Oh, you're getting that? Did I she draw that up? She is now. Oh, okay. So what's it called that you're I getting? Providence. But it's oh. Gonna be upside down. Oh, cool. 
That's your first one going to be on the outside, huh? Yeah. Where you put well, it right here? That one's kind of. Oh, that's kind of on the outside. Oh, cool. Haha, <laughs> it's going to hurt. Bonus to anyone <laughs> that can translate this. You guys know what this means? And this one. This one's more difficult. <laughs>